This was my last video, number 81. New World Order and Scary Soul Confiscator Katsila want to tax you. Soul Trade Game. Nuevo Orden. Bueno, esto fue mi último video, número 81. Nuevo Orden Mundial y Confiscador de Almas. Katsila quiere decir gato grande. Quieren imponerte impuestos. Soul Trade Game uh, se traduce como negocio de almas. Juego de negocio de almas. En Second Life, por supuesto. Sígueme también en Twitter, Soul Trade Game. Right now I'm listening to the video of Let's Talk Bitcoin episode 162. The title is On Horrible Warnings. Uh, justo ahora estoy escuchando uh, el video de Let's Talk Bitcoin episodio número 162. El título es On Horrible Warnings. And they talk so much about uh, so many scams, so many companies uh, trying to raise money and then run away with that money. Están hablando sobre tantos empresas que uh, están uh, reuniendo dinero, bueno, pidiendo dinero y luego se van, uh, bueno, son fraude. Okay, till now, and uh, I've been producing very long time videos without asking for any donation. I should have done that before. Bueno, ya mucho tiempo que he uh, creado videos. Uh, solo últimamente he hecho un video para donaciones. Um, just now, a, a funny picture comes to my mind. Justo ahora me viene a la mente una imagen graciosa or uh, more, than, more a picture than uh, like a video or gif. Más bien un, un video o un gif. Uh, gif is a graphic interchange format. Uh, gráfico que se intercambia como un video corto que se repite. You know that I opened uh, or I created the hashtag uh, JCCVW, abbreviation for Just Discord Comedy in Virtual Worlds. Ya sabéis que he creado el hashtag eh, JCCVW, abreviación por Justicia, juzgados, comedia en mundos virtuales. So now I imagine, like, I think I'm going to buy um, a space there to to create like a court. Creo que voy a comprar un espacio ahí en Second Life para crear unos juzgados de comedia, de, de comedy. And, okay, I won't ask for entrance, but... Vale, no voy a pedir entrada, pero it's just that picture, it comes to my mind, like when there are some videos on YouTube, dog, you shall not pass, hay algunos videos en YouTube que dice como perro, no pasarás, so uh, the cat is, is uh, in one corner and the dog wants to go by, but he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't dare to go by, and maybe Maybe he goes by and then the cat attacks. <laughs> the soul confiscator attacks. Así que el gato se esconde en una esquina, el, el perro quiere pasar y no se atreve, o tal vez sí, al final se atreve, pero luego el gato ataca. 
<risa> como el, el confiscador de almas para el negocio de almas fue Soul Jade Game. <risa> Just listening to a video with the title News and Prophecy Man Becomes Human Bitcoin Wallet with Implant Microchip of the channel Dasayavan Yasarala. Okay, I will put the link down there. Uh, it says um, in minute 15, the chip that Mr. Bitcoin used was developed by a company called Dangerous Things. According to the company's Indiegogo campaign, its inventor, Amal Grafstra, had the first model implanted into his own hand by a surgeon in 2005 already and got a second upgraded model injected a couple of months later using a pet chip injector assembly. Wismeyer used the same type of injector to have the miniature device slipped under his skin. And just today, somebody clicked on my video I posted a long time ago and wrote a comment that they liked the video. Um, and it just, uh, the title is The Tiring of the Mark of the Beasts and the channel is Believers Central One. Written together, I will paste the link below. And just listen uh, a few minutes to this video because uh, I'm very passionate about this topic, intellectual property law. State currencies, the answer is diversify how we transact, whether it be barter. Competition is good. Yeah. Competition is good because the best thing will win out and it doesn't mean it'll make everything else obsolete. There's definitely always going to be a place for precious metals. There's definitely going to be a place for cash because it's the only true fully anonymous system of exchange. But cash can be anything. Cash doesn't have to be cash. It could be seeds or tokens. It's just the interpersonal exchange. Now, that's what's beautiful about Bitcoin as well. It's peer-to-peer, -peer, it's decentralized, um, it, again, empowers us on an individual basis. And another cool thing that I've been exploring lately is, what, what is Bitcoin? Bitcoin um, is it's a protocol, which is just language, and language is speech, and speech is protected under the First Amendment. Uh, getting interesting, right? Well, the Supreme Court and others uh, and, and federal regulators have basically, from what I've seen, said both that it is money, but then that it's not, that it's property, or that it's like a collectible. Yeah, they're trying to put it into their framework of control of this. That They're trying to um, make laws for problems that don't exist um, because the state is obsessed with overreaching, almost dogmatic, religious preventative action. Sure. Because they want to... Algunos retweets de se está gestando también Calle Bitcoin VLC Valencia se extiende a Valencia Calle Bitcoin uh, the first one in Madrid and now in Valencia too el mapa Calle Bitcoin en el el economistas Madrid tiene la calle Bitcoin más larga de Europa. Madrid has the longest uh, street Bitcoin of Europe. Este nuevo video en BBVA Crypto BTC. Víctor Escudero nos habla de proyectos como calle Bitcoin en Madrid.
Tai Bitcoin desayuno informativo. Eh, al final voy a pegar este video número 74. Pero antes vamos a revisar más tweets. In the end I will paste this video. Um, it is in uh, Spanish, English and German. En español, inglés y alemán. Hola, si quieres saber más sobre el evento, aquí te dejamos el enlace. Simpsons, rasca y pica, barricelo, itchy, scratchy, herpes zoster. I created this new picture together because in the end it's um, almost as important, especially because uh, Soldier Gain is rather uh, open source and this is a place in Second Life, JCCVW. He creado esta imagen juntos, and my pinned tweet at the moment. And for Soul Trade Game, I'll be more active on Facebook than Twitter now. So you're welcome on my Facebook on Soul Trade Game. Gothic Whisper Rap Comedy some of my favorite uh, hashtags and uh, about section in my YouTube channel. Um, en mi canal de YouTube, en, en, el, en la sección um, about, um, el, 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 la última sección, sección tengo mis uh, hashtags favoritos y entre ellos está el gótico rap um, um, susurro susurro uh, whisper like <laughs> and comedy co com comedia looking for a way to confiscate the soul of bitcoin dog who blocked cryptocurrency cats buscando la forma para confiscar el alma de bien el perro de bitcoin do que ha bloqueado crypt, eh, cryptocurrency que espera un momento cripto monedas eh, justo ayer escuché un video en español Uh, calle Bitcoin, hashtag um, Calle Bitcoin y criptomonedas. Uh, um, till now I didn't use this hashtag so much. Hasta ahora no he usado este hashtag tanto, um, pero voy a ponerlo en mi lista. Voy a put it in my list. You see that I created this new picture with a Soul Trade game and JCCVW together, abbreviation for Justice Court Comedy in Virtual Worlds, because, yeah, it's like a part of rather more part of soldier game of course at least you can pronounce this word and this hashtag and like virtual guide dog as a part of soldier game bueno ya habéis visto que he creado esta imagen nuevo con que se compone de las dos imágenes soldier game y jccww I think that JCCVW will be at least at as important as Soul Trade Game because I'll rent a space in virtual worlds like Second Life and I think I'll be mostly there. 
creo que el JCCWW va a ser por lo menos así de importante como Soul Trade Game porque voy a comprar o alquilar un espacio en mundos virtuales como Second Life. Y sí. Pero antes debería concentrarme en CCBP y escribir más en español. Bienvenidos a mi Facebook page, página de Facebook. But uh, first I should concentrate on CCBP and write more in Spanish. You are welcome on my Facebook page. Normally I always write in Spanish, English and German. Voy a traducir cada frase en alemán e inglés, así que aprovechad la ocasión para aprender idiomas. Ich werde jeden Satz in Spanisch und Englisch übersetzen, also nutzt die Gelegenheit, Sprachen zu lernen. I'll translate every phrase into Spanish and German, so use the opportunity to learn languages. Espero que sabéis lo que es cripto, bitcoin y P2P, porque en este momento no quiero perder el tiempo para explicarlo. Ich hoffe, ihr wisst, was crypto, bitcoin und P2P ist. Im Moment will ich nicht die, die Zeit verlieren, das zu erklären. I hope you know what crypto, bitcoin and P2P is. At the moment, I don't want to lose the time to explain it. Espero que por lo menos sabéis lo que es Wikipedia, una enciclopedia libre en que recomiendo. Ich hoffe, dass ihr wenigstens Wikipedia kennt, eine Enzyklopädie aus freien Inhalten, die ich empfehle. At least I hope that you know what Wikipedia is, a free Encyclopedia I recommend. Tengo dos páginas similares en Facebook. CCBP para Canarias, España y DCBP para Alemania. Ich habe zwei ähnliche Facebook-Seiten. CCBP für Kanarische Inseln und Spanien und uh, DCBP für Deutschland. I have two similar Facebook pages, CCBP for Canary Islands, Spain, and DCBP for Germany. En primer lugar, voy a organizar reuniones mensuales para hablar sobre estos temas, si hay demanda en los tres idiomas y para preparar juegos con premios. En esta línea werde ich monatliche Zusammenkünfte organisieren, um über diese Themen zu sprechen, wenn Nachfrage besteht in den drei Sprachen, und um Spiele mit Preisen vorzubereiten. First of all, I'll organize a monthly meeting to talk about these topics, if there's demand in the three languages and to prepare games with prizes. Por ejemplo, 100 personas y cada uno invierte un euro en cryptocurrency, por ejemplo, Bitcoin. El ganador gana 50%, lo que corresponde 50 euros. ¿sí? Zum Beispiel, 100 Personen und jeder investi investiert 1 Euro, Cryptocurrency, zum Beispiel Bitcoin. Der Gewinner gewinnt 50 Prozent, das heißt 50 Euro und der Rest wird gespart. For example, 100 Persons and everyone invests 1 uh, Euro, Cryptocurrency, for example Bitcoin. The winner wins 50%, which corresponds to 50 euro, and the rest will be saved. El resto se ahorra en una cuenta común, en cryptocurrency. 
y cada año se hará una votación para decidir qué se hace con él. Der Rest wird gespart in einem gemeinsamen Sparkonto in Cryptocurrency und jedes Jahr wird eine Abstimmung stattfinden, um zu entscheiden, was damit gemacht wird. The rest will be saved in a common account in cryptocurrency and every year there will be a voting to decide what to do with it. Más o menos 10% será reservado para la organización. El porcentaje exacto también se determinará por medio de votación. Mehr oder weniger 10% wird für die Organisation reserviert sein. Der genaue Prozentsatz wird auch durch Abstimmung festgelegt. More or less 10% will be reserved for the organization. The exact percentage will be determined by voting too. Quiero recordar que cryptocurrencies como Bitcoin tiene la gran ventaja de que las transacciones son muy transparentes. Se puede observar todo en el blockchain. Ich möchte daran erinnern, dass Cryptocurrencies wie Bitcoin den großen Vorteil haben, dass die Transaktionen sehr transparent sind. Man kann sie alle am Blockchain beobachten. I want to remember that cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin have the big advantage that the transactions are very transparent. You can observe them all on the blockchain. Estoy convencida que el cryptocurrency es el futuro del dinero y que el valor va a subir. Ich bin überzeugt, dass cryptocurrency die Zukunft des Geldes ist und dass der Wert steigen wird. I'm convinced that cryptocurrency is the future of money and the value is going to rise. Es la razón principal, principal por la que quiero vender mi apartamento en Gran Canaria al precio erótico de 69 mil euros. Cryptocurrency, bienvenido. Dies ist der Hauptgrund, weshalb ich mein Apartment auf Gran Canaria verkaufen will zum erotischen Preis von 69.000 Euro. Cryptocurrency ist, will, ist willkommen. That's the main reason why I want to sell my apartment on Gran Canaria for the erotic price of 69.000 Euro. Cryptocurrency is welcome. And here's a link in Google Plus with the same text. So this is uh, the of the page of Facebook. You're welcome to join my Facebook. I'm very convinced that cryptocurrency, for example Bitcoin, is the future of money. That's the main reason why I want to sell my apartment on Gran Canaria, to have money to in be able to invest. Estoy muy convencida que cryptocurrency, por ejemplo, Bitcoin es el futuro del dinero. Es la razón por principal por la que quiero vender mi apartamento en Gran Canaria, tener dinero para poder invertir. And you are welcome on my Facebook page CCBP Canarias Crypto Bitcoin P2P. Y estáis bienvenidos en mi página de Facebook, uh, Canarias Crypto Bitcoin P2P, y and uh, on my German one, Deutschland Crypto, y en mi página alemana, Deutschland Crypto Bitcoin P2P.
In my video number 74, I have explained this project. In my video number 74, I have explained this project. Uh, these two projects, CCBP and DCBP. Uh, las, los dos proyectos, CCBP y DCBP. This is a comment I wrote under my last video, number 70, um, especially I uh, wrote on my to-do list to translate uh, this following video into Spanish and maybe German too. Uh, my legal name, once I was short on toilet paper so I used my passport. Babylon is fallen now. Uh, this following video and um, something I might have add, I should have added to the last video. Uh, I have been, I have never been in jail, prison, vice versa. I I even worked for the police as interpreters. That's one of the reasons I have. I have or I rather had many um, friends and police cops and maybe because I, I'm a little square headed from my hashtag addiction and this is the hashtags of the videos number 70 so now I will paste that video, which is Creative Commons. It's of it's of the channel The Light Workers Media, and the title is Bi Babylon is Fallen by Kate of Gaia. And I don't know why I want to subscribe, but doesn't function. You see, Sarah, maybe I. I don't know why. Somebody maybe knows why I can't subscribe. Babylon is Fallen by Kate of Gaia. One, name. The master key to the entire system's Crown Corporation's game. The name is the linchpin to the entire legal control construct. Without a legal name, which is your consent by agreeing to be said name, the system vampires cannot literally feed on your lifeblood creation source energy that is typically shown in the physical materials we collect. It is only the consent to be, use, or have a legal name, mark of the beast, that is required for your absolute spiritual contract, deal with the devil motif, to be in full force and effect, with you as a slave and them as master. For proof of this, Look and see how much of your life or existence involves a legal name, and you will see the measure of control the system has over you. 2. Register, registration, etc. Any and all things registered are fully surrendered with consent to the Crown Corporation with no legal recourse until such things are removed by exposing the intent by those who serve the Crown Corporation to commit fraud knowingly or unknowingly. Example, a child that is registered is Crown property by ignorant consent where the truth of registering was not brought forth, which is the original intent by Crown Corporation servants owners
to have people offer their children unknowingly into slavery of soul and thus body. It's the soul they're really after, so keep that in mind. Three, money, gold, silver, assets, Bitcoin, etc. are all illusions of value where you are the true creator of all physical manifestations. Money, external value, has been the tool as a third-party interloper, middleman, that has made draining your power possible. Money or the like only has a value if one has been duped into thinking it does. This illusion is the ultimate distraction and destroyer of creator souls, literally. All money is based on the soul contract, commonly known as a birth certificate. Four, birth certificate. The original sin contract. The name you think or claim as yours is not your creation. Your assumed name was created by your parents or family members or adoptive kin, not you. This is an original creation manifested by another that is, in turn, registered, thus rendering it Crown Corporation property, as previously stated. It is upon this deception that your literal soul was and is enslaved, and upon which all money and debt is created. A debt bond value is placed in the birth certificate based on the assumed accruement of taxes, loans, debts a child is expected to pay as long as they are part of this fraud upon humanity. Example, if someone is expected to pay a certain amount of taxes, etc. in their lifetime, the bond is given a debt value. A child born into a wealthy family will have a higher debt bond value than someone who is of a lesser perceived income bracket rating. This is slave trading at its finest, which divides and conquers humanity in the surf caste hierarchy system that encompasses the planet. 5. Command and Control The courts and governments are the system slaves within, bought and paid for, where the true command and control aspects are the police and military as the frontline dogs and fear contractors for those above the courts and governments, such as the banks and religions and those that control them. The courts and governments are merely the filler for this sandwich of deception and illusion. Without the ability to contract via any and all names at the frontline level, the whole system of control is destroyed, most importantly those at the very top of this spiritual slavery pyramid. Without the name, all levels above are ultimately annihilated completely. 6. The Triple Crown. This consists of Rome, City of London, Crown Corporation, and Washington, D.C. They are the unholy trinity of the three-in-one, one-in-three, as illustrated clearly in the Papal Crown. Religion to control the beliefs, minds, and spirituality of humanity. The courts and banks to control the money and bonds and the world police, military, to quash rebellion and act as frontline contractors of soul extractions. 7. Principalities of Darkness This is the true nature of the game that the vastness of humanity is blind to. Religions have been used to separate you from source by making one believe God is external and use the Savior program to reinforce this. Money is the tool that is used to keep people in the physical-only realm by getting them to equate an external value on everything where nothing would exist without the people and their creativity. Physical death and harm is the tool used to clamp down on your true essence, which is all creation itself. The tools employed are languages with the corruption of pure frequency intent, with multiple meanings of the same sounds and frequencies, using words and spellings, literally, thus dividing and conquering us and redirecting our energy into their creations and control. These entities cannot create anything since they are soulless and thus utterly powerless. They know this and are absolutely terrified because this spells their doom once and for all. We are life with consciousness where these entities are consciousness without life, soul, or spirit. 
They are completely and solely dependent upon getting our consent or spiritual contract agreement. And this is easily achieved through the name deception, buying people off, ego comforts, etc. Their whole house of cards and pyramid is based on this fact. We are the fuel for their system and vehicle. Without spiritual fuel, they're destroyed. The biggest program that we run into with the masses <clears throat> excuse me, is the sheer disbelief of their own power and who they truly are. A masterful job has been done to get humanity to this level of spiritual weakness and complete ignorance. This was the intent of corrupting the ancient truth, rewriting our past and presenting this in schools, churches, and all levels of ego academia. Repeat a lie often enough, and people will believe it. It is far easier selling a giant lie to the masses than selling us one by one. The media is the main tool of thought direction and manipulation to reinforce the lies we were filled with as children and up to our current state. We have many soulless entities on this planet, with the vast majority being placed in positions of power and control, be it police, courts, media, churches, governments, schools, military, at all levels. Fear is their only tool, and once one sees their true immortal nature, one becomes untouchable, literally. The mass hypnosis of humanity is deep, and you will meet all levels of resistance from friends, family, co-workers, etc., so don't bother trying to wake the consenting to be dead. The facts to prove this are all there for all to see. So it is up to, them, up to them to look, not you. Simply plant the seed and walk away. They are the same as the ones in the allegory of Noah that came to the ark too late. Let them drown. We are now at the culmination of destroying these entities once and for all. And they are pulling out all the fear porn, illusion, and desperation plugs. And in that process, they're sinking their own ship, where I merely hand them a better plug puller now. You, and only you, can save yourself, and no one else, so stop killing yourself trying. Let the dead bury the dead, and perhaps they'll get it on the next pass, but they are not your concern. Stay the course. The path home is the one of truth only, and nothing else. Your willingness to stand in truth is yours alone, and to the degree that you stand will be the same degree that you become untouchable spiritually and, as a result, physically. As above, so below after all. There is no middle ground here. You're either in or out of Babylon. You are either master or slave, mortal or immortal. The soul, you, are infinite, where the body is merely a biological computer you operate. Your computer was infiltrated and corrupted, reptilian brainstem, fused chromosomes, and separated from the heart source mind. The soulless ones cannot experience compassion, so don't expect them to. They are the same as the Terminator droids in the movies, programmed to control and kill without remorse, and are easy to spot. They are everywhere, including your own family, friends, etc., and all you have to do is feel your way through. Let your instincts and your heart be your guide. We are clearing this reality of these parasites exponentially now, where universal law reigns supreme, where none shall or can trespass. They are masters of deception, so do not let your loving compassion be used against you, something that has been their most, <coughs> excuse me, something that has been their most powerful tool. The Bioborg entities are already lifeless, and are dependent only on being able to suck the life out of you. But, like every vampire, they cannot enter your reality without an invitation. Every use of the legal name is the only invitation they need, so best cut your ties and consent with that. Just get this concept, and you have already cut the puppet strings, and your causal ability returns instantly in relation to your ability to be responsible with that ultimate of powers. To the walking dead, and you know what you are. Your time is over. Your deceptions are powerless, and now, moment by now moment, you are being erased from consciousness for the invading parasites you are. We of the living soul are awake, aware, and reclaiming our reality, where yours never existed. 
In short, yes, you are doomed. Have a nice day. Kate. Sometimes I pray at night and wonder what's left for me in my future. Wall Street didn't just gain from globalization. It has been completely reckless of the power, manipulated it, twisted it, broke the law. It's disgusting the world economy to its knees. Sick of the struggle, core for greed. It's all for you, none for me. Pay your debts, stay in line, plan its dreams. People die. I'm a man, I'm not your product We're all owned by the bank to keep stocks up I'm a victim, you play the predator But I'm a citizen, and you're the senator I'm making paper, really paper My money ain't worth shit, it's all fake, huh? I don't got a face, I only got a voice I hope you got the time, cause you ain't got a choice This a bang, a boring danger we gotta open our eyes, we gotta wake up This is our time, can't you see the signs? Take a look around, we ain't fucking blind We can make a difference I'm so passionate about this idea to create JCCVW A justice court, comedy and virtual worlds Is to show how some laws are and the whole system of justice based on secrecy and corruption when I said this um, word secrecy I remember John F. Kennedy his famous speech when he began the very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret society, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. We decided long ago the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweigh the dangers we just cited to justify it. Face the facts, join our hands, make a stand. Uh -huh. It's time to get Just now I'm listening to episode number 156 of Let's Talk Bitcoin. Um, it's called The Mola Story. And just wrote already one comment, uh, one more, more reason to create JCCVW, abbreviation for justice caught comedy in virtual worlds um, because uh, there are many scams, fraud and which would request a lawsuit but many people who are in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency uh, first want to avoid that and but um, the risk is that maybe some people would demand stricter laws, but I think most of the people would um, be against that because um, as I myself, when I got to know Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, I started to um, think if there's a life beyond the state and anyway my opinion about laws and um, who has the right to judge my favorite uh, ver verse of the Bible when Jesus says who is without a sin cast the first stone so and anyway 
the risk, I repeat, would be that there will be established more laws, more regulation. And so I think we need to create a place to talk about justice and give the opportunity to discuss these things, but in, uh, of course all these things are not uh, funny, but um, trying to at least give the appearance of a little bit fun comedy to create an, a place like in, in a virtual world like Second Life with some avatars, maybe animal avatars, so it gives it a little touch of comedy and fun, like with my avatar, Innocent Crypto Kitty, and maybe sometimes I need a little help from my other avatar, Naughty Godzilla. I like this name especially to create some um, photo montage with Godzilla. And just must uh, remember the quote of Stefan Moline, law is an opinion with a gun. So in my video number 61, I mentioned this project for the first time, um, this JCCVW, Justice Court Comedy in Virtual Worlds, Second Life. And it's no fun at all to denounce people and maybe the best way to um, to, fi to fight for justice, I think this uh, term would be better to use, is to, to criticize these uh, things in a comedy way, um, like in this second life with um, some humor. Um, of course, uh, often these things are really not funny, funny at all, but um, maybe it's uh, some kind of dark humor, <laughs> black humor, English humor, or gallows humor. Just went to Wikipedia. In the face of or about very unpleasant, serious or painful circumstances, any humor that treats serious matters such as death, war, disease, crime, etc. in a light, silly or satirical fashion is considered gallows humor. Gallows humor has been described as a witticism in the face of and in response to a hopeless situation. It arises from stressful, traumatic or life-threatening situations, often in circumstances such as death, is perceived as impending and unavoidable. avoidable. Gallows humor is typically made by or about a victim of such a situation, but not the perpetrator of it. Sometimes I think this is just all a game. You can call it like this, this whole legal system just today they said in Spanish TV they 
made uh, the law about intellectual property, uh, piracy. They enforced that law now. Uh, hallelujah. <laughs> so in comparison to this is a game, but uh, the I think what is not a game, the final judgment day, I'm very convinced there's a life after death. Um, I created a soul trade game on Twitter. You're welcome to follow me. And second life, ritual wars, um, afterlife, um, hashtag I have. Uh, and I created a new hashtag uh, written together. Don't sell your soul to the devil. Sell it to innocent crypto kitty. Yeah, it's just the first part uh, written together. And if you lose in this court of comedy, innocent crypto kitty has the right to steal your soul. Uh, watch my video about soul trade game, I think, in the number. It's the video Vanus Enigma 017, number 17. Soon I'll create a new video and translate it into Spanish and German. But at the moment, this one is the most complete video about soul trade game in virtual worlds like Second Life. And by the way, I a long time ago, I created Do Not Coin a Crypto Parody. Uh, it's on Twitter too. Anyway, this is explained in this video. So justice and truth are very important hashtags, hashtags, but in the end, maybe uh, if uh, the topic is not too serious, um, even if somebody might be less innocent than the other person, maybe the person who is more funny will win. Anyway, there, there is no judgment, but the only judgment is, is uh, <laughs> because my nickname is Innocent Crypto Kitty and Innocent is like a synonym for without sin, so I, I have the right to judge and throw the fourth first stone. <laughs> and um, I can uh, tell the judgment, oh yeah, um, uh, the surreal judgment that somebody owes uh, the soul to me. For example, the Bitcoin dog who blocked cryptocurrency cat, innocent crypto kitty. How dare, how dare to block this innocent crypto kitty? <laughs> And watch my video number 52, Bitcoin Expert Accused for Absurd Reason. Um, actually, I should have put in judgment uh, the soul, soul trade game. And anyway, uh, I noticed later that um, annotations don't function in Android. So next time. And this is one of my favorite pictures and one comment I wrote some time ago, but uh, still not on video. Um. I'm a big advocate of cryptocurrency, but my prediction without betting, because it's really not what I, I like, is the following. A new world order is going to force people into one world currency, which will be based on a certain type of state cryptocurrency. It will convince many people because of security reasons. 
The private key will be in the type of RFID chip like on Obamacare. And I think this is what the Bible predicts in Revelation, Mark of the Beast. Democracy is ty the tyranny of the majority. All these trials and lawsuits should be recorded with several cameras.